Hello, my name is Maxim and today I want to talk about Golang maps and structs. Let's start from the map. So map, this is the structure where you can store the data in key value pairs. Uh, let's start by defining maps. There is the two way how map can be defined. Let's create, for example, students grades. Uh, this map will contain a student name as a key and grade as a value. So how can I create the map? I'm going to use keyword map here. And in the brackets, I need to specify the data type for the key. And I'm going to use the string. And then I need to specify the data type for the value. And I can initialize with some values. So for example, let's use the John and 50 and Alex 70. So here's our map. Now I can just try to print it. Print line and students grades. And let's run the code. Go run main go. And as you see, map was printed. Also, I can like of course I can define the empty map like this. It will be the empty map. And I can run the code, empty map. And uh, there is one more way how map can be created. This is make keyword. So inside I need to specify the type. This will be string and int. So this is the another way how map can be defined. So for example, I have this map and now I want to add element to the map. How can I do it? I need to use name of the map and in square brackets, I need to specify the key Let's use Susan equal to 99. And let's print. As you may see, Susan was added to the map. And in the same way I can delete from the map, I'm going to use the delete function. I need to provide the name of the map and I need to provide the key. So I need to specify the Susan. And once I run the code, map is empty. Uh, so right now we just try to print the whole map, but also I can uh, get individual element from the map. So let's initialize the map with some uh, key values, string, integer, and let's add what we have previously. We have the John, 50, and we had the Alex with value. 76 and in previous example I just did FMT print line and whole map but also I can get the value for specific key in this case I need to specify in the square brackets for example Alex and I should get 67 but also I can specify here Susan but we don't have this user in the map so I would expect to get an error but once I run the code, I got the zero. Uh, this is because Golang print the null, uh, null value for a particular data type. Uh, but how can I know if the key exists or not? I can use things like that. So for example, we don't have the Susan, right? So I can add create variable, Susan great. And I can use here another parameter such as OK. And what I need to do is to just get uh, the value. And now let me try to print what like both of those Susan great, and I want to print OK. Uh, once I run this, I got zero and false. That means that this key is not present in our map. And let me copy those lines. And let's change Susan for John, for example. And I'm going to change here the value, John, great, and print. And I got 50 and the true. So this is how I can define uh, if uh, key exists in the map. Another da uh, data structure which I want to talk about, this is the struct. Let's start by defining the simple struct. I'm going to clean up all what. Have. Struct can be defined using type. 
I need to provide the name of the struct and let's use the same students, for example. I'm going to create a struct named student. And inside, I need to define the fields. So I can have name, I can have last name, which will also be the string. I can have the grade, which is integer. And I can have something like subjects, which is type slice of the strings. And now inside of the main, I can define this student. Let's create student John. And I'm going to define students. And inside of the curly braces, oh, I may type a stu, then this, and here students. And I need to provide the parameters, like name, John, last name, let's call it snow, grade, for example, 90, and subject, this will be list of strings. And I can specify like algebra and geometry. So now I have my object defined and I can print this whole struct. Print line, print line and student John. And my whole structure was printed. Also, if I want to access just particular field of the struct, I can use dot and, for example, name. Uh, also, I can define empty struct without any parameters like this. And I can specify like student John dot name equal to John. It will work in the same way. Uh, let's try like to use embedding. So Golang does not have inheritance as in traditional OOP languages, but it uses the composition. How, how I can use composition? I'm going to create one type. Let's call it animal. And it will be destruct. And it will have one field name. And also I can have another type, which will be the bird. And it also be struct, and it can have the same field such as name string, and it, let's let's add it speed integer. Let's get rid of this, and I'm going to create a object called kiwi. This will be the bird type of the struct bird, and it will have the name equal to kiwi and speed. Let's add 90. So I can also print this. Kiwi. But Kiwi bird is also like the animal and animal has the field name. So what I can do, I can specify here animal. But I immediately here receive the error that I don't have like the parameter name. So let me comment out this for a minute. And first I'm going to use another type of creating the structs, objects. And it will be the type bird, right? And now I can define Kiwi. And as you may see, I have here the name. And I can use name Kiwi. And I can use the Kiwi speed. So even if I don't have here defined animal, it will just reuse animal uh, name from the animal field. I got the same. But let's back to the this previous example and why I can't do it. Because bird like obviously don't have the type field animal. I'm sorry, name. So I can define here animal and inside I can define animal and animal has the name which is so even if I define it like that, I still have here name. So I can access name directly without, of course I can do also animal.name, but it's just like I would call syntax sugar uh, that you don't need to specify. But this is not the inheritance. So in our case, bird is not the animal, but bird has animal. 
Also, another useful thing sometime can be, this is the uh, anonymous struct. So let's try to define it. I don't need uh, like any struct definition as we have in the previous example where I defined the name of the struct and I defined the fields. How can I do it? I can specify like the key Let's create the same. And I will specify here struct uh, in curly braces, I'm going to specify the type of the fields. I'm going to use string here, a string and speed integer. And then I need another curly braces. And inside of this curly braces, I'm going to uh, set value for those fields. I would have speed 90. And now I can do again print line print line kiwi and I have the same name speed like this time I name it um, lowercase because this is inside of our function so it cannot be exported to the outside so there is no reason to name it uppercase so I can get kiwi name so this is the same it sometimes can be useful when you need to organize some data which is not uh, long leave inside of the program and final thing which I wanted to show is to copy the struct. So I have here the kiwi and let me create something like b equal to kiwi. And then I want to change b name equal to ammo. And finally, I want to print kiwi and our b. So I'm going to print kiwi and I'm going to print b which is ammo. And I got two struct, kiwi and ammo. So when I did this, assign this to the kiwi to the b, GoLang created the copy of this struct. If I want to access like this kiwi struct directly, I need to specify here this symbol. Uh, we will talk about that a bit later in the future videos. So and now if I will run the code, once I changed B name to the ammo, struct kiwi was also changed. So that's all what I wanted to show today. Thank you for your attention. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any new video. Have a nice day.